Uh, uh, I, I, who are you? I heard it was terrifying. What? Well, hello. Looks like somebody's in good spirits. Mm -hmm. Are you traveling to see the sights? If so, let me give you a tip. Do you see the mountain behind the lake there? And the ruins atop it. Uh, ah, okay. That's one of the ring ruins that fell from the sky and came crashing down around Kakariko village. Oh. The village now has visitors who come to see the ring ruins, but I hear it was terrifying when it came down. So maybe it goes without saying that five huge ruins falling from the sky would be terrifying. Yep. Ah, oh, hang on, there's a fairy on here. Ah, oh, great. So let's unlock her as well. Welcome to the Dueling Peak Stable. Hey, Darton, there's a customer. You had to welcome. Those footprints, were they like this? No, I'm sure they were like this. Who has footprints like this? I'm sorry, we're supposed to say welcome together, but Darton's obsessed with drawing those footprints. Footprints. We found some strange footprints south of here in Pharaoh. They were big, no animal I know leaves tracks like that. They were footprints no one's ever seen before. We went to tell our dad right away, but they disappeared in the rain. Mm. He said we probably just dreamed them up. But we did see them, really we did. Pharaoh, isn't a bit far for two kids to go on their own? Uh, this part was like this, and the part was... Uh, Naruto, wasn't this part of the footprint more stomp stomp? Uh, what does that even mean? More stamp stamp, maybe? Footprints... You're gonna say the same? Uh, uh, Mr. Traveler, I'll tell you about these footprints, but you have to promise to believe us. We found some strange footprints south of here in Pharaoh. They were big, no animal in no list track like that there were footprints no one's ever seen before okay okay same thing mm -hmm. kind of like elephants oh, i spoke to you Savak. Savak. you strike me as a foe in need of directions looking for hateno yeah but i'm not going there now oh robbie's there oh okay i thought that was robbie's hair <laughs> the newspaper <laughs> Uh, if you head east of, on the road, you reach the ruin of Fort Hateno, and just beyond there, Hateno village. Mm. It seems like a lazy laid-back hamlet when last I was there, but I hear things have really lived up. Did I guide anyone? Oh. Well, well, traveler, welcome to the Dwelling Peaks table, right at the foot of the Dwelling Peaks themselves. If I need a guide on the roads around here, I can tell you. Uh, I can let you know what's what. Uh, things have changed around here lately, haven't they? Even the towns are different. There's been a lot of changes around Kakariko Village and Hateno Village in particular. Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village is a Shika village to the north. It used to be a quiet town that has. That all changed when strange ring shaped zona in ruins fell from the sky. Now it's crowded with both researchers and thirsts. Hmm. Do we protect the old or embrace the new? Kakariko village and Hadena village. Okay, Hadena village. Oh. Uh, village is at the edge of Harold, far to the east. It's, it used to be known primarily for its milk and its local produce. Then, out of nowhere, a woman from the clothes shop became a famous designer. Uh, Sophie. I think it was Sophie. It was, yeah, it was Carson's girlfriend. Now the town has become a center for fashion, of all things. Whoa. If you are looking to do something special, I recommend visiting Dueling Peak Stone statues. Hmm? There's no road up to uh, the summit, so it's no easy track. But the view of uh, Harold at the top is a true wonder. You mean climb all the way there? Oh, 
Oh, hey. Uh, oh, hey, go. Uh, points. Give me points. Oh. Huh, they're drawing stomps around here. Okay, since your first time here, one point point. Once oh. again, welcome. No, I'm good. Ah. Oh, the drawings. Sorry about that. No matter how many times I scold them, those some of the minds just don't listen. Ah. But then they'll tell you they saw some big footprints, the likes of which nobody has ever seen. I swear, I'll never stop being surprised by the things my kids can imagine. Hey, Pen isn't here. I met him at every stable so far. Come on, dog. Okay. Let's go. I want a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I think I'll talk to you guys. Ah, there it is. Okay. A for long blade. I had one already, didn't I? <laughs> Whoa. Is that a well? Another well? Oh! Well. Damage. Uh, maybe I should have glided from up there and try to get them in the air. You? Ah. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette cover in this edition? What's the news? Uh, <clears throat> there's an update on the Great Fairy Fleece into Far Blood Store. From earlier, the Great Fairy merged to appreciate the skill of the stable trotters, much to the relief of the nearby stable. Uh -huh. Phew, it sounds like the situation has been resolved now, and the Great Fairy show herself too. Hopefully, the great fairy near here will follow suit and emerge. Mm. I always read every word in these papers, other stories. Ah. Oh, what's this? Fashion fixation in Hateno Village. Interesting. Word has reached this paper that the celebrated fashion designer Sissi, that's a new character then, has returned to her home in Hateno Village. Ah, okay. Hateno Village is on the eastern edge of Nekluda, it's a real hike to get there. But it is known as a sort of holy land of fashion. I should really visit someday. Okay, mm. you, be? you know, I've heard that some Iga clan types have been spotted you here. I hate to think that assassins who are after Princess Zelda might be nearby. Heavens forbid. <laughs> Oh, hello, you're a traveler, aren't you? But I guess we're all travelers, aren't we? In one way or another. Uh huh. You haven't by chance heard about a legendary pumpkin, have you? Legendary pumpkin. Mm. So you don't know? Of course, why would my luck be any different today? Rumor has it that deep in a far somewhere, there's a legendary pumpkin called the Master Gourd. I heard the flavor was powerful enough to defeat any monsters, no matter how strong its stomach. <sighs> but ev so is it safe to eat? But everyone I ask about it looks at me like I'm talking nonsense. Maybe I was fed some bad info. Let's see the the fairy before talking to them. Oh. Uh, 
danger. Severe damage has made this crossing hazardous, especially for horses. Uh, there's the flower. Ah, uh, but I, I think I could actually bring the horse here. Shock fruit. It's a lemon. When cooked correctly, this shocking taste fruit simulates the consumer's muscles and grants increased attack power during thunderstorms. Uh. I could have just dropped on them. Uh, big twin bridge, little twin bridge. Oh yeah, there's also Misko's place over there. Anyone calling upon me from out there in all that ugliness? You must be a monster of some kind. As if I'd ever give my blessing of clothing, okay? It's means to one of you. I moved near this table here so I could give my blessing to travelers. I suppose that if I heard something truly rousing like the sound of a drum, I might feel inspired to come outside, but only maybe. Yeah, I know where the guy is. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, there was that. I, that I didn't figure out what to do. Octobal fold. <laughs> no, it's not strong enough. I think I need to stick something to this end. But I don't know what. Yeah, oh I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Maybe I'll find somewhere else. One like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh, I know that face, yes, that's a face I know. Have you come to meet another great fairy? Great fairy? Oh, oh I must be mistaken. I merely assume because the great fairy Kotera is such a notable attraction to the Olympic stable. Alas, the local great fairy has emerged from her flower bud in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the great fairy at Woodland Stable. She used to listen to Beat's drum so fondly. Hearing this lovely beat again will be just the thing to cheer her up, but Beat simply isn't here. Beat is a young, young drummer who plays for the stable trotters. But one day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. Oh, there was that traveler who heard a drum somewhere. Where was that again? Maybe near Kakariko village to the north, where the road bends around Bonoro's stand. Let's go there. Oh, hang on, there's a guy here. Uh, I have... Have you seen your mug before? You and you're all here? Listen, I got a proposition for you. It involves taking care of some no good pirates. Uh, what they say? Feeling brave? Pirates? <laughs> huh, I'm only kidding. A skinny little guy like you, you'd be a gunner before you got out your surge. Oh. The pirates I'm talking about, they are nasty characters. A text learning village on the coast south of here. The place was my home until the pirates forced me out. Mm. Ah, he's the guy from the treasure mini game. A uh, peaceful village blessed by the sea, that's what it used to be. Hey, beats. Mm, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Come on. 
Uh, why do you want bees again? You again? Second time, I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Uh, hey, I can see your look on face. I'm messing my flow. Look, I get that I'm probably not gonna bring any bees here like this. But the conductor is going on. It's going to be for a surprise. Three. Some say behind from Kokeriko North, near the huge hole. Open up. Okay. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, yeah. I should have brought some fire. Plenty. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Wait a second. What's that smell? Uh, something sweet. Maybe in your pouch there. Here, have some honey. Mm. All right. My beat didn't reach the beast, but I guess uh, it got you moving. With this, I can whip up a honey crepe for the conductor of my troop on the double. Here's a little something for helping me out. Take it, it's all yours. Great. What do you say? The stable trotters are back in action. What, they, what am I doing here? They need me to bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I hit it, up every single stable, I'll run to them sooner or later. It shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my services again. Hey! Well, until next time, if there is a next time, see you. Uh, you're going to the right one, right? You won't, I won't have to randomly go around trying to find you. There's something I've thought about springs that I wanted to test. Uh, that's too weak. That works. That one didn't notice me. Oh. Now you're all using springs over here. Spring shoot. That's exactly the kind of thing I wanted to test. Grab that. And what happens if I... Oh! But it breaks instantly. Oh, here you are. Oh, what's up? What? Oh, phew, it's just you, partner. I should have known you turn this midway hour, midday hour, to your advantage and sneak up on me. Uh, my feathers really are ruffled, aren't they? Oh no, you spooky me is what I'm talking about. Although that did a number on me too. She, I mean, Princess Zelda was Princess Zelda. She was kidnapped. Again? Uh, have you heard of the Iga partner? They are a gang of lowlifes who worship the, an evil entity and plot against Princess Zelda. 
and now they are claiming that they've kidnapped her. What's more, they are not even worried about being found. In fact, they sent a message to the newspaper. They have taken Zelda to the carved out heart of the towering twigs. Okay. Understandably, Miss Tracy is all worked up over this news. Hmm. I came here because the word twins made me think of the Olympics table. But I haven't found any other clue so far. Uh, there must be something. Huh? Partner, we can't allow the chips and warbles of Vivo to go on the search. Okay, I think I know where that's supposed to be. Ah, he's here. Ah, there's the man of the hour. Look at this, or rather, listen. It's Beats. Our Star Wars drummer Beats has returned. A sorry troop leader am I am, making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. Yeah, yeah. But the beating heart of the stable trotters post once more. Three cheers for our own beats. Mm. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can keep my lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face, one who no doubt shares my concern for the Great Fairy. Great Fairy? Oh, I must be mistaken. I merely assume because the Great Fairy Kotera is such a notable attraction to the Twilight Peak stable. Uh, alas, the local Great Fairy has emerged from her flock. That's the same thing, of course. Uh, sure, it's out there with the stable, it's in Beats Drum so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again will be just the thing to her up, but the bridge to the Great Fair is broken. How are horses supposed to cross? Yo, if the bridge is no good, how about we cross the river? That's right, we can cross the river. To the river, everyone, all together now. I'm sure the Great Fairy will give you her blessing when she wakes up. If you'll have the time, I'd be honored if you could be there for our performance. Okay, so I just have to build a bridge. Oh, I do have to take you guys there with that. The bridge is a bust, but I thought it might not be so hard to cross the river. I see now that I was mistaken. Even if we took out our breezer's wheels and floated across the river, the current would run the plane aground. Okay, so I'm, I'm making a boat of that. The Great Fairy is so near yet so far I have absolutely no idea what to do. I don't want to ask again. Her bridge was built for traveling roads or rivers. If we try to ford it, we will all sink before we reach the Great Fairy's site. You? The Great Fairy here is also hiding in a flower bud. Too afraid to come out. I wish that we could all go and perform for her right now, but... You? Any ideas? I can play my drum all I want, but this current won't be swayed. There isn't anything we can do. Uh, first of all, let me see how buoyant is that. Come on, let me test it! Oh, how did our poor breezer get all the way over there? Let's get it back right away. Okay, I took it too far. I don't know if that floats or not. No, no. There's no average wagon or common card. It's such a perf it's as much of a performing member of our troop as any of us. It would simply be a disaster for our traveling band if our dear vehicle ever got away from us. Okay, I think the problem is that I took it too far. I just want to see if it sinks. Because I thought this would float. But from what he said, it apparently would sink. Now oh, it floats fine. Okay. He was worrying too much about nothing. That's a bit more stable. Uh, would this help in any way? <gasps> can I make a flying wagon? That's much better than a floating one. Who needs a boat when you can make a plane? Uh, although I never tried taking off from the river, but. It should be fine, right? We good to go. 
Read some books, cross the river, oh, take an idea. How pain I'll take you. Yeah, yeah. Uh such relation, the very words I've been waiting for. Everyone get on board before he changes his mind. Okay, we just have some problem taking off, I think. That's why we're gonna start here. What's going on? The bridge is rocking. Wait, hang on. Maybe it work. I don't know. We'll see. It worked. I. It's just a first person. Okay. See, fine. Much better than a boat. The Great Fairy. Places, everyone. Places. The Great Fairy needs us. Okay, they didn't even have to try to land this thing. That was easy. It, we've done it. Mm. Yelza, I think my heart just picked up the tempo. <laughs> the musical stylings of the stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malaise. Yeah, yeah. Thank you once again. I've prepared a token of thanks, so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched. You deserve every last bit of it. Great. And now that my own box are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud to say that the Great Fairy Cotera is at peace, but she wasn't the last Great Fairy still shut away in her flower bud. Yeah, yeah. That's why we must be off at once to visit the next Great Fairy. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. Well. Where you go now? <laughs> oh, what a feeling! The, f the first breath of fresh air, it's so intoxicating. The beat of the drum has lit a fire deep in my heart. Mm. And what about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need an extra materials. Ah. The power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Enhance away. Mm -hmm. I'm needing enhancement for clothes. Mm. Mm. Right, let me do my thing. Where fair has increased pace two levels. Okay. Yes, done. I hope you like it. In his clothes like this can sometimes draw out their true power, but only if you wear the whole set well and not all sets have the potential. Ah. Yeah, he's more. Mm -hmm. Just another thing, hope it helps. I thought I would improve some other clothes for you, but it looks like that's not possible right now. Please return when you have clothes or materials, or when one of my sisters comes out of her flower bud. Ah. I hear that my big sister Mija is near a stable in Hebra region northwest of here. Ah, did I go there now? Because I could open that one easily. See you later. <laughs> But okay, so now this one. Why was I using that one? That one sucks. Uh, let's check Miss Ko's old place. Uh, 
Um. No, that's not what I that's not what I wanted. They just went away because of the rain. Hmm, giant boomerang. Massive boomerang that is weathered and decayed. It was originally used for hunting, but it can be challenged to wield. Troll well and it will come back to the thrower. Oh yes, there was a tiny cave here as well. With a shrine. And bears. Thanks for posing. Hmm? Oh yeah, that one. Did I? Oh, I took it back there, the guy. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, Honeyvore Bear, the king among animals, is a dangerous game for even the most seasonal hunters. They will attack anyone who wanders into their territory regardless of the wanderer's weaponry. As their name implies, they have a natural love for honey. Extreme caution is advised when you spot one. But if you are sneaky enough and maybe just a little bit crazy, you may just be able to ride one. Yeah, it was quite easy with bombs. Now we're gonna have to use weapons. <laughs> You're fleeing? No, don't flee. Don't flee. I want to kill you. Poor guy. Wow, he has a lot of life. Hmm. Yeah, the one here vanished. Ah, oh, maybe it's behind here or something so we can access anymore wow there weren't so many Mount Floria cave How do we have this kind of stuff here? This isn't part of the sky, this is in the depths. Does it work? And it doesn't turn too well. It's way too fast. That's way too fast. Uh, I think I better use the big one. Okay, let's go there. Yeah, 
didn't really seem necessary. Doesn't make anything. It's a battery, but it isn't exactly explosive or anything. Oh, I kill a lizard. Hurt lizards, this rare lizard lives deep in the forests. If it's on high nutrient foods, give it great vitality. When used to make elixirs, they temporarily increase your maximum hearts. Shoots. <laughs> if Torch Search was use something that will get in the way, you'll fall. Okay, I just checking. Oh yeah, but I should definitely make a shoot with the laser beam. Being a meter. Okay, that's good. Okay, I need to need the card to keep going here. A real shield. Shield issued by the Hyrulean royal family is a mediate guard detail. It boasts a high defense, but these days it's more a collector's item due to its ornamentation. you noble in the back oh, the being is getting the way now It's like too much in this game. Okay, let's continue a bit more here and then we'll check back there. Hang on, this one is your French. This one is your French. Oh. Cool. I don't think I've seen one of those before. Nice. Broadsword? I didn't have one. Knights of Haru once carried the sword, even in its decayed state, it shows its true resolve in desperation and can yield powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. And so just claim more. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, Star Fragment. A mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky, its gem like quality makes it highly valuable. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environments. Hmm, I know. You are here. Now you go there. And now you come back. Now you rewind. Okay, this place is working. 
Okay, it worked. What's here? Better be good. That's not good. I don't care about that. Already was a crystallized charge. Yeah, I didn't have one. Ah, oh, it connected both. Hmm. Uh, you burn that. I didn't know that could happen, but okay. I was half expecting to have a chasm here. Oh. Those, those will be hard. They were in the last one, at least. Electric Darner, this rare dragonfly only appears in the rain. It swings direct electricity away from its body, cooked with monster parts for electricity resistance relics elixir. Yeah, maybe they are easy right now, but they will be hard after I clear it up. Did I get it? Come on! Okay. But I think I have one the beetle gave me. Oh, they vanished. Okay, there's a reason there, don't have to fight. Oh no, it stopped raining. Okay. Uh, let me just. Is there any shrine close nearby? Just so I have an easy teleport or something. Ah, there's probably one around there. 